I'll give you an example. One of the directors said to the kids, who wants to go on the slide? Because she had to film them coming down a slide. No one wanted to go on the slide, so she stuck. Whereas I go, who's going first on the slide? It gives them a choice. They're all going on the slide, but it's, it feels an element. How did you become a director? Did you always want to be a director? Where did that start? I used to do a lot of freelance youth theatre directing. And I ran a dance company in Belfast for a while with kids from both sides of the political divide. And from that, the Northern Irish Arts Council asked me to run a drama project with kids from really difficult backgrounds. Uh, meanwhile, a pal of mine had started uh, doing a trainee producership in BBC Education, and they were looking for someone who could write and direct with young people about bullying when you go from primary school to secondary schools. And he said, oh, I was doing this project, and so I got in touch. So literally, I was thrown in front, or well, behind the camera, uh, straight in as a director and writer without uh, any formal training whatsoever and kind of had to learn on the job. Uh, I, I didn't set out to be a director, but uh, I can't imagine doing anything else now. So you were talking about uh, children's uh, television there. Uh, so how did working on Balamori help when it came to, uh, you know, in contrast to things like Still Game with the more adult humour, uh, how did working in children's television and children's humour help developing what you later on went to do? No, I... Balamori for me was interesting. I was brought in partly to train another director, but partly it's almost documentary because uh, Balamori was two elements. There was the character led stuff without children, and that was drama, multi camera drama, and there was stuff with the children. And the stuff with the children, you weren't allowed to talk to the children, you would speak to Miss Hooley. You wouldn't say Julie, who's the actress, you'd say Miss Hooley. I, it would be quite nice to see the children do this. What's interesting is you learn how to work with actors through working with children because you effectively it's the same thing you narrow their choices but still giving them choice uh, I'll give you an example one of the directors said to the kids who wants to go on the slide because she had to film them coming down a slide no one wanted to go on the slide so she stuck whereas I go who's going first on the slide it gives them a choice they're all going on the slide but it's, it feels an element of choice it sounds quite Machiavellian but what you have to do as a director is get what you want through being courteous but also saying, this is what I need, but I still need your creative input and your acceptance in order to do it. Um, so probably that, but because I've always worked with young people for a long time, I really enjoyed doing Balamori. I never got to go to Mull, which is a shame. It's all, all the uh, school stuff in Mary Hill. So, um, no, I never got to go to Mull, but I had a good time doing it. I did about eight episodes, and we went to Paris with it, and um, took it to Paris, and I played a French waiter. I used to act years ago, and not very well. Uh, and while we were there, we had Professor Archie out building the Eiffel Tower of Yogurt Pot, so where the license <laughs> fee goes on. And um, people from across Europe, oh, Professor Archie, how are you? We know you. It was fantastic. He was more recognisable than most actors I've worked with. And there he was in, you know, in the middle of the, the Champs-Élysées, and people go, oh, is that Garth Balamori? French and English and Scottish and bizarre.